Hi guys, had a comment on one of my cars asking if I had a rubber band powered car that went forwards and backwards. I'm guessing what the question is, can it go forwards a certain distance, stop, and then go backwards a certain distance? Um, I haven't made one like that. I had a little think about it and it came to me that my favourite car, number 8, which is the one that I do all the modifications on to test things, um, should be able to go forwards, stop and go backwards fairly easily um, with no real modification. All I'm going to do, I'm going to put fresh rubber bands on it because these are getting a bit old. Um, I did modify this recently with a brake. Well, I'm going to take the brake off but I'm going to use a bit of string. I'm going to connect the rubber bands to a string and then wrap the string around the back axle. I'll wrap it a certain number of turns around the axle one way, loop it round the hook and then wind it the other way a certain number of turns. So what should happen is when the rubber band pulls the string it will go a certain distance one way it will then flick off the loop and start pulling back the opposite way. So it should be that simple. I'll give it a try. Right, I've got my rubber band on. I've tied my string onto the end of the rubber band. What I'll do now is hook it onto that peg, roll it round a certain number of turns. I don't know how many I need, but that must be three. I'll now loop it over that peg so it goes the opposite way and turn it round some turns in that direction. The only thing is there's not enough grip now to actually stop it when it's going forwards. It'll wheel spin. So what I'm going to do is put some... I'll just let that go. I'm going to put some rubber wheels on that I've cut out of some gloves. Some washing up gloves. So I'll just stretch these over the back wheels to give them some extra grip. And then we'll test it. All right, we'll give it a test. That looked like that worked pretty efficiently to me. I'll just wind it up more one more time. So Round that peg, turn the wheels backwards, one, two, three turns, over that peg, turn it the other way, one, two, should be plenty, fit my release mechanism in place. and release. There we go. So, a rubber band powered car that goes forwards and backwards. If you want the full build you'll have to go and have a look for my um, playlist rubber band powered car number eight. It's a playlist all on its own with uh, it's got about, well, it's got at least three episodes in it on building the car. And then there's a few more afterwards with some modifications.